Hey, welcome back to Key and Kevish Productions. It's been a long time. I have not uploaded any videos, so sorry for that. So in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to do cron splash inside Blender, and it's going to be a really simple and a beginner-friendly tutorial. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So first of all, we have to create a domain. So add a cube and and add a fluid. Then from the fluid type, click domain. Then from the domain type, change the domain type from gas to liquid. Then you can just change the resolution division then then change the simulation method from flip to epic I mean uh, both will work but for me epic works the best I don't know why then under cache change the frame start and end frame and the type from replay to all then what I have to do is go to its uh, object settings change the display from solid to bound so that we can see the simulation happening inside the cube then add another cube scale it up to fill up the domain something like this perfect then again add the fluid to the the cube which we have added right now then change the type to flow then add a uv sphere and for the sphere also add fluid then change the fluid type to effector because this is what going to interact with the, with the fluid then change the sampling of steps to 0 to 10 and the surface thickness to something like 2 and just move the sphere something like there then add a keyframe in the first frame then move to around 10th frame just drop the sphere like place the sphere under the cube so that we will get a dropping animation after that select the domain click bake or now we can see the simulation is working pretty good Good, but the problem is our clone splash is very small so we need uh, you know like the Houdini clone splash and that's this clone splash we are looking for so for that one what you need to do is let's delete the bake now the next thing you have to do is you have uh, just select the uh, sphere and let's add a force field and let's change the shape to surface and strength to and let's change the strength to 20 now let's go to the frame number 5 or something like 8 make sure under the fall off you click on the max uh, distance and give it to distance like 0 0.08 or maybe like 1 then give a keyframe on the strength of the force field so go to the frame number 0 add a strength value of 0 hit a keyframe and just move uh, some frames like let's move on to the frame number 8 and give a strength of uh, around uh, 60 or 80 and depending upon the size of this uh, cron plus you need just give a higher value for the uh, force field then go to a frame number like 10 and give a strength of 0 and again hit the keyframe and let's bake it a few minutes later now we, now you see we get a beautiful cron splash happening and there you go so once your baking is complete make sure you click on the mesh so you can bake the mesh also you can add the shade smooth or subdivision you can add a product and just render it out so here you go guys you got the crown splash if you have any doubts so you can just comment down in the comment section and if you like this video please share this video with your blender friends i hope this was really helpful for you so once again you're watching k and Kivish productions i'm karthik and i'm signing off see you in the next video until then take care and happy new year